Hey guys, welcome back to The Swarm. Whenever we talk about the climate crisis, the first issues mentioned are usually about reducing our carbon footprint, living sustainably, removing fossil fuels, and transitioning to renewable energy. Very rarely do we immediately think of how our land is being utilized, but that is exactly what the latest report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, suggests we need to be taking a closer look at. We have focused for a long time on the destruction of the Amazon to produce the pulp used to make our paper products. Many activist sites are dedicated to the education and removal of this type of pulp harvesting. But in the US, we are moving towards sustainable forestry. We are recycling more paper than ever. This shift is huge, considering one third of our anthropogenic carbon emissions are sequestered by forests. So sustainably managed reforestation of these areas is vital. But land is not only cleared to make paper. The agricultural industry is continually expanding to meet the food demands of our growing population. The IPCC report informs us that up to 24% of all human anthropogenic emissions are generated from land use and its conversion from native habitat, largely for agriculture. Clearing land for agriculture is a multi-edged sword. Soil health deteriorates over time, reducing yields, and clearing the land of vegetation removes a vital sink for carbon sequestration. Rearing livestock on converted land has the most impact, especially if raised on grain. Over one-third of global crops are used to feed livestock. In the US, this increases to 67%, which is a huge amount. Since the 1960s, we can see our per capita consumption of red meat has declined. However, a sharp increase in poultry consumption has led the trend for an increase of 31% in total meat consumption. In order to reach our sustainable targets, we need our consumption of red meat, and meat in general, to fall dramatically. Current per capita consumption of beef produces over 3,000 pounds of carbon emissions each year, over 75% of our sustainable footprint. The IPCC report highlights food security as key to our survival, but notes the food system is under pressure from not only population and income growth and the demand for animal sourced products, but also from climate change. The report states there is a high confidence that observed climate change is already affecting food security through increasing temperatures, changing precipitation patterns, and greater frequency of some extreme events. But not only the supply side needs examination. A key point in the report shows us other factors. Combining supply-side actions such as efficient production, transport, and processing with demand-side interventions such as modification of food choices and reduction of food loss and waste, reduces GHG emissions and enhances food system resilience. Governments need to understand the science that the panel has uncovered. They need to commit to available solutions and work towards others. Climate change is a complex, multifaceted crisis. Up to one third of our carbon footprint can be attributed to the food we purchase. Agriculture, food production, and deforestation are major drivers of climate change. Next time you're at the store, we hope you will think about the origins of what you put into your grocery basket. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe and join the swarm.